Well, welcome everybody. I'm Nancy Comstock. I'm Fancy Nancy from FancyNancyStamps.com and I'm here to welcome you into my studio today. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I have been doing this for about uh, 15 and a half years. Love this business, love creating, and I want to share a little bit with you today. Oh, what a great day it is. I just was reading happy mail, happy email from a, a customer, and it, it just is making me smile all over. So um, that's, that, that's a good place to start today. Uh, today we're going to be making um, one of our cards from our Christmas Magic group. But before we get there, I want to make sure that I bring you up to date with everything that's happening in the studio. Um, my face-to-face -face classes are going like crazy. Uh, Sunday, I will be hosting the Kids Club, and they're making Halloween uh, treat containers, and we can't wait to do that. Uh, that's a 2 o'clock class, and right now it's sold out, so that's an exciting piece. Uh, we all have all occasion cards right here in the studio, and that will be next Wednesday morning at 9.30 a.m. My classes are free uh, with a per minimum purchase of $25.00. If you don't wish to make a purchase or you don't think you're ready, if you're a new stamper, please feel free to pay the $20 fee. But I think you will find that you're going to get hooked and there will be things you want. So just hanging that out there. Um, let's talk about online class for a minute. My online card class, which uh, is always an exciting adventure, and that's what I was reading my email about, which still is making me smile. We do a online I do an online card class it goes out once a month usually the last Friday of the month it um, within the kit you're going to get everything you need to make eight cards um, they're cut they're ready they're ready for you to stamp and to assemble they're beautiful cards there will be four designs two of each um, I do not include the ink or the stamps or the dies if something needs to be cut or embossed, I do usually do that for you. But as for uh, stamps, we are not allowed to send an image. So if I tell my customers, if you've been stamping a long time, you may have stamps you wish to just substitute in. You've got favorites. Lots of times I'll say, use your favorite sentiment. Um, but I also build my classes around a particular stamp bundle and I make that available to you at an 18% discount. How do I do that? Well, I pay the tax and the shipping and that comes to about an 18% and I ship it in your kit. So what does that cost? What does this whole little thing cost? The class itself, the class kit, is $36 shipped to your door, which I guarantee, oh, I left some out. Sorry. <laughs> um, it really is a bargain because not only will you find that card um, kit in that package, but you'll also have mm, between $20, $23 worth of stamping supplies that you're bound to use. I mean, it's, they, they're usually things that coordinate with everything I'm mailing in that envelope so, or that box. So just know you're getting the design, the directions, everything cut ready for you, $20 to $23 worth of supplies and the shipping for $36. And if you want to add on you get to add on the um, bundle or just stamps, whichever you would like, um, at an 18% discount, and you can't beat that. So when do you need to get your registration in? Well, let me just tell you, and I will put it in my comments below the video today. It need, My registration must be received by the 20th, and I will put the link so that you can do that if you're interested, because I would love to have you. There's nothing like that card kit. I have still left out one small, tiny little detail, and that is your first card kit is free. I want you to see what I do, to be happy with what I do, and say, I'm not gonna give up this card kit for anything, and know that your subscription is really valuable to you. So just know, I'm waiting for you, and I'm prepared, and I'd like to send a kit out to you. So today, we're gonna start talking about Christmas magic, and Christmas magic is going to start it starts this week and goes through um, the second week of December. We are going to be doing cards, a lot, lots of Christmas cards. We're going to be doing a Christmas garland. We're going to be doing tags. We're going to do things you need to make your Christmas perfect. Last year, I focused on table settings, and 
we put together some beautiful table settings using our stamps. But this year, we're focusing on cards and some decorations and some wrapping. And I hope that'll work for you. So with that being said, stick with me to the end because I'm going to explain how Christmas magic works. But I want you to see the beautiful things you're going to make. So let's get right to work. I have this host code and this might be a great time for you to write this host code down. I will try to keep it where you can see it today, but this host code is good for the whole month of October. And if, and if you decide to participate in our um, Christmas magic, you'll want this host code. So let me just slide it up. This week, all the cards are all about um, using a peaceful deer. Now, let's start right out by me telling you, I know the peaceful deer punch is right now back ordered. Don't worry, order something different or get the pieces um, that you might need. I'm going to tell you that in my card kits, I cut out every um, one of my deer and it was not, it was not a terrible burden but it's really nice to have that punch. It's really great. So I'm gonna demonstrate that and I know I've got it here, um, but just know, I know it's back ordered and it's back ordered to the first week of November. Just, let's just throw it out there. The um, stamps are available um, and the paper I'm using that's gonna be in the kits is um, the Peaceful Deer paper that was in um, our celebration, but I have plenty for you, so don't worry. Okay, let's get to work. By the way, this is our card, and I just think it's a sweet, sweet card. It, to me, it is peaceful. It's exactly what we're looking for. So let's just see what we can do. I have all my little gizmos here. And um, I will tell you that I did start with a piece of white piece of paper that was five and a half by eight and a half. And the first thing I did was cut off three inches. Well, that's not the first thing I did. The first thing I did was score at four and a quarter, and then I cut three inches off one side. I have that piece of paper here, and we're going to use it. So just know it wasn't waste. It was. It's going to get used in this card. So let's go ahead and fold, and I do have my bone folder. Always, you guys, use your bone folder. Make a nice, crisp fold because it just fits in your envelope better, and it looks better. So please do that. And we are going to add to this, this beautiful snowy paper. And what's really cool is that I wanted to, um, it's got two beautiful sides. Can you see that? And I wanted both sides to be used in this design. So what I did is I, that's why I cut this off. I'm going to add this to this piece of paper and, um, and use this pretty snowy piece of um, specialty paper and we're going to attach it. So let me just show you. In order for this to really match, you can see that it's only going to overlap about a quarter of an inch. So I think the most important thing is for me to put my adhesive on this back side. Actually, I'm going to put it, I'm going to take that back. I'm going to use this um, sparkle paper to add my adhesive, and I'm, this is gonna become my hinge, so to speak. So I want lots of tape, because I want this to be strong. It's going, when you open a card, and you think how many times you open it, you wanna make sure that you have um, a nice, sturdy um, hinge. So I laid that out just to make it even. I am going to put some of it under, and then I'm just going to lay, oops, that's not straight. Try again, Miss Nancy. Sometimes Fancy Nancy's not as steady as she should be. There we go. So now we have a perfect card. I better fold again. There's days like this. There we go. I need 
come back and trim that up here in just a minute. But right now, I'm going to, I don't want any white showing. Oh, sometimes the perfectionist in me just goes too far, but it's looking good. Okay, we're good. We're, we got to start. And now we're going to go and um, we're going, I'm going to set this aside. We have that piece, that three inch piece that I trimmed down to fit here. And we are going to um, use garden green. This card uses two colors of ink. It uses garden green and it uses soft suede. So we're going to use, we're going to start with our garden green. We're going to stamp our trees. And I love the trees in this particular set. I am going to put them up a little higher than I did in my other, in my first card because I want more room for that ribbon. So let's just um, start there. And I'm going to start off by stamping off because I want these trees to appear like they're further away. And then I'm going to do full on dark ones. There we go. So we finished with that. And then we have a sentiment that I'm going to use my um, soft suede. By the way, I think soft suede Finishes a card up so much nicer than, let's say, just a black, because I think the black is a little stark. So, I'm going to put this down here, and I'm going to put this a little lower than I did before. Like I said, we're making more room for our deer. Okay. And then, we're going to just set this aside for a minute. I have a scrap piece of white paper, basic white. And I am going to stamp our beautiful deer on it. Again, using the soft suede. We'll put it to one side. There we go. And we'll come back to this yet. I'm going to color it using my crumb cake pens. They're just enough lighter. And we'll start with our lightest blend. I just ordered up all new pins because it seems like I've been doing so much coloring getting ready for these Christmas cards. I have just really using them up quickly. Anyway, this, this crumb cake it looks really nice with the with the um, soft suede, it makes for the outline still stands out really nicely, and we can still um, add color, deer-like color. And believe me, I see lots of deer every day. I live in the country. I live up on on a mountain, and um, it's all wooded. And I have deer and moose in my yard almost daily. And I have elk in my yard almost daily. So, you know, it's something that my husband and I have come to really, it's kind of part of who we are, which is probably why I was drawn a little bit to our deer. Now I'm going to take this darker crumb cake and I am going to um, add some uh, just dark uh, shading to those areas that you know, make the nose and the eyes a little brighter and the hook a little darker. Anyway, it's why my husband and I just tend to really love our wildlife. And it makes us sad when people don't take care of it the way we love it. So. Now I'm going to take the brush and I'm going to do a lot of blending. Um, I didn't use the brush in, but I'll come back to it. And I always try to pull the darkest color 
into the light color because it, it just tends to make the, add the drama, which is what we're trying to do here. We want it to just really call to us. And I think it will. Alrighty, I'm feeling pretty good about that. Now, see if I can just give you a little bit more, focus in a little bit more. I am going to take the punch and I'm going to cut this baby out. Oh my gosh, I can give me this punch like crazy. Didn't realize it was full of stuff. What I try to do, especially in a detailed punch like this, is to line up my item and be, just be able to add a little pressure and then and then push. And I think we've got it by George. Yes, we do. So let's start putting this together and see what we've got. I told you guys I'm still using my um, old um, snail. And um, I can tell you that the new uh, stamp and seal is on its way. It's supposed to be delivered tomorrow. This would be the happiest stamper in probably the world. I love our stamp and seal. I also want to, um, I tend to um, wrap my, my um, rather than actually tying a bow, I just wrap my um, ribbon around it and I'll show you in a minute how I do it. I've lovingly called this a poor man's bow for years my uh, people in the studio kind of laugh when every time I say that. But basically what it does is it uses a lot less ribbon and it allows you to have a nice finished product, a nice clean look without overdoing it. So there, it's, it's on there nicely. And then I'm going to just take this piece, slide it underneath, and I'm going to tie a single knot. I'm hoping this piece is big enough. I've got more here if I need to. Sometimes my fingers are this big and clumsy. Come on now, be nice to me. There we go. Okay, I'm going to trim that off so it's just a sweet little bow. Uh-oh, I bet I didn't bring dimensionals. Now, here's what we're going to do. In light of no dimensionals, we're going we're gonna to play this slightly different. I am going to... Add a little tape. I'm also going to put that underneath, kind of underneath the, the ribbon. So let's just go ahead and put some tape on our girl. No antlers, so I'm calling it a girl. There we go. And then I'm going to put this on the front. Now, I will tell you that it is difficult when you use this frosting paper or any specialty paper for that matter, if you're, unless you're using something like stamp and seal to really get it to lay down. So I would recommend you to use a stamp and seal or to use a tear and tape if you want a really good, you want it to adhere nicely. In the name of time and the fact that I only brought this tape upstairs because I don't have any of the other, Let's just put this one on and smile and say, woohoo, and make it work. Make sure 
going straight. And we want to add some rhinestones because we all know that unless things have bling, they're just they're just not finished. So let's see what I got here. I do practice the the um, recommended odd number, and in this case. I'm going to snip this away and just add it. I also usually use smaller snips, as you know. That's why I have these big scissors up here, above and everything else. Definitely use my pick a pick a tool here. Okay, but we're not done because I want to do something on the inside, and I think I want to do something to the envelope too. So let's. Oh, I don't have it here. Well, let me show you what I did do. This is very embarrassing. I thought I had all of my pieces right here. On the first card, I simply took the, the deer, the, the simple deer, and I added the trees and put it's the best time of year. But let, instead of being inside, let's decorate our envelope for a minute. I know I better go back and check all my other setups to make sure I put all this in. I want to use just the walking deer, the grazing deer, whatever it might be here. I'm going to use my, oops, I'm going wrong. And you know when you're stamping on your envelope, it's really hard because it's a whole, it's a, it's a much more porous surface than all the cardstock we use. So you really have to give it some time and some pressure. So just know that. And I think we'll put some, some trees on the back flap. And I'm going to feel good about this. Got to remember my own comment here. So now we have a decorated flap, we have a card, and just to see that, I think we did a better job on the front of this card because we um, put a much softer bow on it, as you can see it's much softer, and it makes me happier, and you, have, you can see the inside, yep, inside, and we have our deer and our trees on the back. And we're ready to go. But I don't want to just stop there. I kind of want to show, well, I think I will turn it back to my face and then I'll show you. I want to tell you a little bit about Christmas Magic. Christmas Magic is a type of online card class, but it's slightly different. This is a situation where you simply place an order using the host code I showed you. The, the, the minimum order for this particular group is a $50 minimum order. You will get your order, but I will also send you the card kits to make eight cards, two each of four designs. And I happen to have these four designs right here to show you. So let's just, let's just whip them out. We have this pretty pretty. And you can see it's got the little stitching, the whimsy stitching with a pretty inside. I love this one. That's one of them. We have this one that has a lot of embossing around the outside. It's a Merry Christmas. The inside. 
the lily is placed on our evergreen. This one's a pretty, this is a pretty one. This one calls to me. Uh, so it's just a simple Merry Christmas using the bedazzled um, paper from um, Celebration and then a pretty inside as well. And the one you saw today. So those are our four designs. So you would get the makings of eight cards and um, a Christmas card from me. So I just want you to know that I would love to have you join. I would love to have you use the host code. Well, I'll put my camera down to it one more minute. But um, this offer is good through Saturday evening at, um, at 9 o'clock. And Saturday is the 9th, just to be sure we're, we're all together on the same page. So this is good from today through Saturday the 9th at 9 o'clock. And... Um, once the order is received, I will send out the kits. So it's going to be great fun. Christmas magic is going to be a lot of fun. Remember, you're going to use the host code that I showed you. KH2CYV2P. And place any order you want. I am going to put in my comments today what it took to make this card. So that you will have a supply list in the event you say, I would like to make one like it. I want to remind you though that the green paper that I used was from a celebration item. Um, but any green Christmas paper is going to work. In, my, in this case, I just used that snowflake pattern because I thought it was lovely. Um, but just keep that in mind as you plan your own purchase if you're planning to make another card just like this one. I hope you've had fun. Tomorrow, I'm going to demonstrate another one of these cards um, just so that um, we're all ready. And I'm going to remind you again of what the four designs are and give you the deadlines. Gosh. And don't forget Online Card Club. Online Card Club that's, that's free the first month. I want to make sure that you know that. Uh, I, I can't emphasize that enough. And I just want to tell you how happy I am that you're here. I hope you said just gave me a thumbs up or gave me a comment so I know who was here today because I love knowing that. And um, when I see your names pop up, whether I'm on Facebook, anywhere else, I, I say, like to say, I know this person. Um, they visited me when I was doing a card class. So please, 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 um, this is a great way for you to join Fancy Nancy's uh, studio. And um, I'm going to continue to surprise and delight you with more cards. One last thing, I have to apologize for yesterday at four o'clock. I know, I blamed it on the internet. It was about 10 minutes later that I realized it's my problem, it was not the internet. Uh, when Facebook went down the day before, I had taken a number of my, item, my um, devices offline trying to connect in a different way. And I had not put them back online. So imagine my frustration yesterday when things weren't working. But surely it was my own fault. And I apologize to you. Uh, but I will see you tomorrow at 4 o'clock for more fun and games. And I uh, hope you have a lovely evening. It's great seeing you today.